Hello and welcome to number one. I have ten podiums behind me and ten players to come down and fill them. So let's start by playing for qualifying positions. In the qualifying round, the crucial thing to remember is the nearer you qualify to number one, the easier the rest of the game's going to be. The nearer you are to ten, the harder it is. Whoever's at number one by the end of the show could win up to two and a half thousand pounds. Players, get this first question right, you'll go to number one. Get it wrong and you'll go to number ten. So here comes the first question. A puppet of Mrs Thatcher fetched top price of £11,000 when the puppets from which satirical... Lawrence. Spitting image. ...was the TV show from which they were taken. Lawrence King from Preston, you qualify at number one. Which artist's life story was the subject of the film Lust for Life? Phil. Van Gogh. Is the right answer. Phil Duffy from St Helens, you qualify at number two. Which mountain, supposedly where Noah's Ark landed? Phil. Ararat. Mount Ararat is the right answer. Phil Barham from Kings Langley, you qualify at number three. For which medium did Benjamin Britten compose the opera? Craig. Sorry, don't know. The question was, for which medium did Benjamin Britten compose Owen Wingrave? It was television. Craig Carruthers from London. That means you qualify at number 10. What was the average age of American soldiers in the Vietnam War, according to Neil? 19. According to Paul Hardcastle's number one hit, it was 19. Neil Mitchell from London. You qualify at podium four. Qualification is complete. Players, take your podiums. From now on, every time you get a question right, you'll move up. Get it wrong, you'll move down. I've got two and three place questions as well. And the crucial number one questions are quite rare, but they can change everything by taking you all the way up to the top. The key in this round is to stay away from the last two podiums, because from now on, every 60 seconds, whoever's there will play a head-to-head -head sudden death eliminator. Lose it, and you're out. So if you're all clear, let's play. Which office was created in 1377 when it was held by Sir Thomas Hungerford? Phil, number two. Black Rod. Is the wrong answer. It's the Speaker of the House of Commons. Phil, you move down to number three. A two-place question now. Who founded the Democratic Unionist Party in 1971? Steve, number seven. Reverend Dean Paisley. Is the right answer. Move up two places to number five. Number one question now. They're very rare. It could change everything if you get it right. Which well-known musical was an adaptation of George Bernard Shaw's Steve, number six? My Fair Lady. Is the right answer. It was an adaptation of Pygmalion, of course. Steve, go all the way up to number one. Our ruling champion is now in that controlling position. And 60 seconds is up, which means that Craig and Simon at nine and ten, one of you will be eliminated on this question. Palermo is the principal town. Simon. Sicily. On Sicily is the right answer. You survived to challenge on. Move up to number nine. Craig, you move down to number ten. And it means, I'm afraid, you're out. Which Irish author wrote Dubliner's Ulysses? David, number six. James Joyce. Is the right answer. Move up to number five. Which marmalade cat was the subject of 18? Neil, number five. Bagpuss. It wasn't Bagpuss, it was Orlando who was the subject of children's books by Kathleen Hale. Neil, you go down to number six. A two-place question now. Disputes over which territory resulted in war between India and Pakistan? Neil, number six. Kashmir. Is the right answer, Neil? Go up to number four and out of the elimination zone. Adrian, you're right in it. And in it you are. The 60 seconds is up and you will now face Phil on a head-to-head -head eliminator. Who, at the age of 18, started Virgin Records as a male? Adrian, number five. Richard Branson. Is the right answer. You survived to play on, and Phil, that means you're out. What we're going to do now is play a series of head-to-heads to find our number one. Starting at the end, the first person to get three correct questions survives to challenge the next player in line. So, first up, five plays four, Adrian against Neil. Which wife of Ahab, whose name became a byword for scandalous behaviour, introduced the worship of Baal to Israel? Neil. Jezebel. Correct, one point. 
How long is a French presidential term? Time up, it's seven years. Which island was a penal colony situated off the coast of French Guiana? Neil. Devil's Island. Correct, you've got two points now. Which issue prompted the dramatic resignation of Michael Heseltine from the cabinet in 1986? Adrian. The birth of an illegitimate child. Is the wrong answer, Adrian. It was actually the takeover of Westland helicopters. The point goes to Neil, uh, which means that, Neil, you've got three points and survive on, and Adrian, with that almost libelous accusation, you are out. So, Neil, well done. You've survived. You now go on to challenge Lawrence at number three. Lawrence, of course, was number one when he qualified, so he's a good player. Which London thoroughfare derives its name from the royal palace built there by Henry VIII and destroyed by fire in 1698? Time up, it's Whitehall. The Grimethorpe Colliery, the Black Dyke Mills and the Brig House and Rastrick are all leading... Lawrence. Brass bands. Is the right answer, Lawrence, one point. Which thin, crispy pancakes spelt in 11 different ways in the Oxford English Dictionary are a favourite accompaniment to food in Indian restaurants? Neil. Poppadons. Is the right answer, one point. The 20th century saw the reign of nine popes, three of whom adopted the same name on their elevation to the papacy. What was the name? Lawrence. John. Is the wrong answer, Lawrence. It was pious. The point goes to Neil, so two points to one. Lawrence, you have to get this next question right in order to survive a chance of playing on. Which singer's life story is told in the film What's Love Got To Do With It? Neil. Tina Turner. Is the right answer. You've got the three points. Move up to number three. Lawrence, you move down to number four. And I'm afraid that means you're out. So, Neil, you've suddenly come alive in this round. Let's see what happens <laughs> as you play David at number two. Remember, whoever wins between you two will go on to challenge Phil to be number one. What is the name of Germany's Federal Legislative Assembly? Time up, it's the Bundestag. Which football ground shares its name with an 11th century battle in which David, number two? Stamford Bridge. Is the right answer, one point. Which Philadelphia hat maker invented the broad-brimmed, high-crowned cowboy hat named after him? David. Stetson. Is the right answer, John B. Stetson. You've got two points now. Neil, you've got to get this next question right in order to stay in the game. In astrology, what is meant by being born on the cusp? Neil. Between two astrological signs. Is the right answer, Neil? Well done. You've got one point. Again, you've got to get this next question right, Neil, if you want to stay in the game. Which Swedish scientist invented dynamite, the profits from which went to create a famous David? Nobel. Alfred Nobel is the right answer, David. You've got the three points, and that means, Neil, you're out. Phil, we're going to ask you to play all the people you beat head-to-head -head for increasing amounts of money, starting with a £50 question when you play Craig at number 10, right up to £1,000 when you play David at number 2. So, even poor old Craig could go home with 50 quid if he's faster than you on this question. Neil, your question's worth £500. That would be a very nice steal. You've only got two subjects left, though. What will it be? The Middle East, please. Phil, do you want to play or pass on the Middle East for £500? I'll play it. OK, he's going to play. So for £500, Mubarak, Nasser and Sadat. Phil. Egypt. Is a bad interruption, Phil. They're all stations on the metro system of Cairo, which means, Neil, you steal the money and are going home with £500. <laughs> but, Phil, that brings your total to £1,600 out of a total of £2,500. They whittled this away from you a little bit, particularly, Neil, with that £500 mistake you made earlier on. But, of course, as number one and our smartest and fastest player, you've won the right to come and join us again the next time. And I hope you'll join us then as well when Phil will be joined by nine new contestants, all battling to be number one. And with more number one at the same time tomorrow, next on 4 Daytime, it's the first of our quarter-final countdowns.